We're taking a look at Conrad's updated version of the Liebherr LTM 1030 mobile crane. This model first came out even before Cranes Etc started, and this version is probably its third update in all those years. It comes in the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays, and there are no instructions with the model, although there are a few parts to fit, and that includes a fly jib and a bag of parts. We start with a bit of assembly, and there's only one mirror to fit, and that is on the crane cab. So there's no need to wonder where it goes. We need to carry the fly jib when it's not being used, and there are a couple of plastic brackets which you fit to slots on the boom. Then we use the giant hand forklifts to place the fly jib on the brackets. And it doesn't clip in, it just kind of rests. Next we need to pull a bit of rope off the winch drum. And it's held in place with a bit of tape, so we just pull that off, and then pull out as much rope as we need. There's only one hook supplied with the model, so here we've reeved it up simply, and there is a loop at the front where we can attach the hook for transport. <laughs> As we can see underneath the model is very simple, and that simplicity continues with the driving cab which doesn't have windscreen wipers or door mirrors, and the step doesn't have any texture. The hook also reflects the older style with a single plastic pulley block. Moving to the back of the model the lights are painted, and there's nice diamond plated texturing on the deck. It looks like the lower counterweight plate is a separate part, but it is very securely attached. The crane cab is more modern with a door mirror and it has metal grab rails and it has the up to date curved shape on the windows. One thing that doesn't look quite right is there's too much piston showing when the boom is at rest. For the rest of the model the boom is simply detailed, there are metal sheaves used and the top part of the fly jib is plastic. Remember if you want to support the Cranes Etc team you can do so over on our Patreon page, and the link is in the video description. The steering on the model is very functional, with both axles having a very good range of movement, and there was slight oscillation possible on the front axle. In zooms this little crane, and it's quite heavy for its size, and it rolls along very nicely in a straight line. If you set both axles you can turn really sharply, or just steer on the front axle in the normal way. But cranes can be weird and wonderful things, so we can also go for some crab steering. And this is great if you need that extra bit of manoeuvrability. On site we set up in the usual way by pulling out the outrigger beams first. But to lower the outriggers, at least on the review model, we needed to use a screwdriver. And I bet you don't have to do that on the real crane. The pistons have visible screw threads. And the outrigger beams are tough plastic, but they are quite strong and they do hold the model wheels free. So with stability assured we can unhook the hook, and then we can stand back and admire as we proceed to erect our boom. The main ram is plastic and it relies on friction to hold a pose. Once the boom is up you can rotate the crane of course, although it was quite stiff on the review model. To extend the telescopic boom you just pull out the sections in the normal way, and they lock at full extension. Operating the winch is just done by using a finger or thumb, and actually it's a little bit short of enough rope on the drum, but at least that means your thumb won't wear out. Let's now attach the fly jib, and to do that we'll open it up first, and then pin the folding section. You use a plastic pin, and you might need to clean out the holes to enable it to go in easily. And after that we can then offer up the fly jib to the end of the boom. We're doing it up in the air and in case you're wondering that's not how they do it in real life. And that's because you just cannot get hands this big in one to one scale. You can only run a single rope on the fly jib. So the supplied hook isn't really right and it would have been better if there was a single line hook. <laughs> The 
This is a small crane, but let's get the tape out and do a dim check. And to the top of the main boom, it's about 25 inches or 63 centimeters. And to the top of the fly jib, it's about three feet or 90 centimeters. It's nice to see an update of this robust small crane. But it would have been nice if Liebherr had wanted it to be modernized a bit more with some more detail on perhaps some small graphics. But as it is, it is a less expensive crane model and it's quite nice and solidly made. All things considered, it is good.